Hà Nội, the capital of Vietnam, has been blessed by Mother Nature with spectacular and stunning sceneries, friendly people, excellent cuisine, and multicultures with a combination between tradition and modernity as well. Therefore, it has attracted millions and millions of international arrivals every year, which makes tourism a new and promising market, as well as one of the key components of the modern Vietnamese economy. However, the city center also has petty crime on a small scale. It is the scene of overcharging international visitors when they travel and go shopping, especially in tourist parts. Some foreigners show their experience and opinions about overcharging. Taxi drivers can be a little dishonest. Taxi should have been 300 and I've charged 450. Some other little things like, um, you know, food or cigarettes or some things on the street. Um, I usually take motorbikes uh, to go anywhere and so every time I ask an individual for fare they always overcharge me um, and I know what the correct fare is because I usually use Grab or Uber or something like that. It's very frustrating. It's very annoying. Yeah. Really, really winding up. It's really super annoying. It bothers me sometimes because they, you know, just because you're foreign doesn't mean that you come here with a lot of money or that you should be charged um, unfairly either. So, what is the reason behind the problem? Firstly, tourist stereotype is deep in Vietnamese thought. Most of the salespersons and vendors think that foreign visitors are wealthy people, and they just want to make as much profit as they can. Furthermore, this issue results from the salesperson's poor awareness. They only want to earn much money in a short time without knowing that Honesty will bring more benefits in the long run. Last but not least, overcharging can't be avoided because sometimes foreigners don't know whether they are ripped up or not, which is the result of difference in currency. It's, the, like different kinds of money is so different. Like yeah. the numbers are so different. Really big money yeah. here and really small money where we live, and it's hard to know if it's the right amount sometimes. Overcharging has ruined the image of Vietnamese people. That is the reason why many international visitors don't want to come back, Hanoi in particular, and Vietnam in general, a second time. The bad taxi drivers make me not want a taxi, which makes the good taxi driver not have a customer. They're not going to laugh what's happening and they're not going to enjoy their trip. So that less people would want to come because they would be worried about it. Because once you experience the human charge, then you go back. Yes. And when you have made a good deal, you will go again and again and again. And also, we will manage to us. Yeah, of course. Yeah, alright. Because we work now. We work a lot with the river mine. Yeah, it has a big impact. In conclusion, to push Vietnamese tourism and bring Vietnam's image to the world, the government and local authorities need to enact strict laws and punish anyone who continue overcharging foreigners. Now, 
it's time we all joined hands and took action to eliminate rebuff.